Hi, I'm going to show you how to scrape web pages using ChatGPT and Axiom. I'm Alex Barlow, co founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. This is how the video will break down. We're going to split it into three easy to follow parts. We're going to start off with the template that is available in our website and show you how easy it is to set up and extract some data straight away. Second part, we're going to show you how to Take that extracted data and write it to a Google Sheet. That's also really easy. Third part and final part, we're going to show you how to turn that base template into an amazing power scraper that can extract data from hundreds of pages using ChatGPT. It's all going to take about five to 10 minutes. Let's crack on. First up, I'm going to scrape some data from my wonderful CTO's LinkedIn profile. Now, please do remember you can use this template to scrape data from any page. This is just for the purposes of the demo. Okay, so I'm gonna open up Axiom. I've cheated, I've got the template installed. This is what it'll look like out of the box. Now we just need to do a tiny bit of configuration that's going to take seconds and we'll be ready to get some data. So first of all, I need to give the bot the URL and I just gotta click get current URL. And that's the go to page step 1.1 setup. Now I'm going to expand the next step. This is the get data step where we scrape the whole page so ChatGPT can then extract the data from there. I'm going to press select. I'm going to choose the outer div that wraps around all of the content that I want to scrape. Press complete and that's done. Now I like to do a bit of configuration of my scrapers to speed them up. From trial and error, I know that I can reduce this down to here. And that to zero, and I'm going to have a little bit of a fast scrape there. Next up, um, extract data with ChatGPT step. Now, this is pretty easy to set up. You will need your API key, though. So I'm going to head over to um, OpenAI and generate a new key. Now, of course, you shouldn't really record your key and then share it on YouTube, but I'm going to delete it afterwards so the key won't be valid anymore. Okay, so I've copied the key. And then back to, to this tab, I've entered the key. Now, all we need to do then is tell um, the bot what values to extract, what bits of data do we want education, do we want about, do we want their name? I'm just gonna use the template that we've added here and we'll be adding more templates as, as, as these features mature. Okay, so there we can see the um, values that we want and I can simply add more values in myself by inserting a comma and adding the next value, etc. So that's the step set up. Now, when we run the bot, we've got a display message step here to output the data, and you can see the insert data has passed the chat GVT data to the display message step. Now, the display message step is really handy. If you're a beginner, I use it to debug all the time. So if you're building longer axioms, you can use display messages to, to highlight the data and so it's visible where the bot at is during those various stages. Anyway, um, I get distracted. I like talking about building bots. I'm just going to click run and we're going to show, show you Axiom. It's going to open up on the desktop runner. I do um, all my bot development when I'm building and testing my bots on the, on the desktop runner. And then I tend to use the cloud for when they're production ready. So you'll see LinkedIn the profile page is loading. Now Axiom will quickly extract that data. And then we're going to see the display message pop up. So I'm just going to tab back here and we can see the display message pop up and that's how easy it is to get set up and extract some data. That's pretty awesome. Now let me show you how quick and easy it is to add a step to write the data to a Google Sheet. So I'm just going to click add step, write data to a Google Sheet and I'm going to select the sheet that I want the data to appear in and you have to set the sheet name or I like to call it the sheet tab and click on links. I don't want it to go there, I want it to go data. You can see that sheet is empty. Now, I'm just going to change this option here, clear data before writing to add to existing, because I don't want the data overwritten every time I run. That's it. Now I'm just going to click run, and the bot will open up Simon's profile. Shortly, it's going to put that data into the Google Sheet. So we're just going to tab into that Google Sheet while the bot does its thing, and wait for that data to magically appear which is only going to take a few seconds. And boom, there's the data. Pretty cool. Okay. Finally, let's transform this simple template into a super scraper by adding one, two, three more steps. It's going to take moments. 
What is a super scraper? It's a bot that will loop through thousands of links stored in a Google Sheet and then extract the data and write it back into that Google Sheet. Let me show you how it's done. So first of all, this template is now going to change a little bit from the original one we, we made. And we're now going to loop through a series of links stored in a Google Sheet. So the first thing we need to do is read from a Google Sheet. Now, you will need a sheet that's already got links ready. And I've got mine set up here called links. And this is where we'll keep our link store that we can keep adding to. Now, you'll only see three um, links in there, but that's for the purpose of the demo. Remember, you can fill the sheet up, add 10,000 rows, sorry, add, add 10,000 rows or more, and then loop through those links. So quickly back to the axiom here, we're going to add our sheet in. Now, this is an important part coming up, sheet name. We're going to get that right because we want the data from the links, and we've got it here. We're going to set, this is the important part, first cell, last cell. We only want to loop through a single row of data, so we're going to do A1 to A1. Now, you can add more columns if you want to go away to, like, column M, etc., but only a single row. If you, if you ignore that, the bot won't work properly. So add a single row here. That's it. Now, let's collapse that step. Next, we need to do is change the go to page step because no longer we're going to a single URL. We're going to need to pass the URLs into the Google Sheet. That's easily done. Insert data, Google Sheet, the URLs are added. Now, on this current version of Axiom, we have to turn the interact loop off, but that will be changing soon. So keep an eye out for our, our new UI kit coming soon. But make sure that interact loop for now is turned off because we're going to use a jump step in a moment to loop. Now, we're just two more steps to add. We're going to add a delete step. So basically, what the bot does is read a row from the sheet, go through scraping, delete that row, and loop again. So we need to add a delete step. And it's important the delete step is after the write step, just in case the, the bot um, stops. You want it to... Um, not have deleted the row before it's ever written the data it's scraped. Okay, um, again, just search for your sheet. And, but remember, with the delete step, you want the sheet with the links in, not the sheet we're going to write the data to. So um, first row to delete and last row to delete uh, out of the box are set to one, so that's very useful. I don't need to change that. Final step to add, and we're done, is the jump step. And this is how we're going to make the bot loop and turn it into a super scraper. So jump to another step is simply put step number one because we make the bot jump back to step one where it reads a new row of data, sorry, a new row with a link in, it goes to that page, scrapes the data, extracts it, writes into a sheet, deletes the row and loops again. So for now, we're only going to loop a couple of links for the purpose of this demo. And I'm just going to click run. And we're going to see the super scraper in action. Is Axiom opening up and it, it will, um, I think the first link in the sheet is Simon's page again. So we are going to duplicate his data in this sense in, in, in this demo. So as you can see his data appear twice, so it's just loaded his page. Any moment we'll see Axiom, so we can see Axiom working way there. And we're also going to see it delete the row from the Google Sheet. And we can see there the row has been removed. And we should now open up our wonderful CEO, Yasir. He's going to scrape data from his page. And we should see that appear in the data tab here. And the data should be there. And then finally, we're going to loop through Matt. He's been a member of the team for some time now, a very valued member of the team. And there's his page there. And surely the bot will write his data to a Google Sheet. And so that is how you build a super scraper out of our very simple ChatGBT web scraping template. It's really easy to do. We just add a read step, a delete step, and a jump step. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's taught you a few more skills about using Axiom. And you enjoy going and making your own bots. Thank you.